Howdy, gang! Tiger is back. This will be a fairly short video because I have plans today. I gotta get dressed here pretty soon. I'm sitting here in my totally cool PJs, my Life is Good shirt. Love my Life is Good shirts. Um, best quality. Of course, I also have um, several merchandise shirts from my fellow YouTubers, uh, which are also really cool. Especially this. Those are the cool designs. I haven't gotten one on my own yet, but maybe someday. You never know. But that's not the point of this video. point of this video is, guess what? Tiger went to the flea market again yesterday. Now, I did not film. I went to a flea market, two flea markets um, in the past couple of weeks and uh, a couple of antique stores. Uh, they don't let you film. Um, the flea markets, I could film. I would have to ask every single dealer and then edit everything together later. That's just, I'm not, I haven't figured out editing yet. Plus, even if I had, there are so many dealers, it'll be so much work. To cut it all together later that's yeah and the antique stores are weird it happened every time when i ask it seems to be an employee who has not got the um power to make that decision and they tell me oh well, i don't know i never thought of that maybe i should ask the boss about it it may be a good idea or they just say i don't know i can't make the decision here's the phone number call the boss and ask him yeah, and then I'm like, yeah, but I'm here now. By the time I call someone, nah, that's too much hassle. So I didn't film anything. And the antique stores I went to were really pretty pricey. They didn't really have, I mean, they had some nice stuff, but yeah, very pricey. But the flea market was good. I got lots of glass. And at this point, I have no clue how to get it all back. I know it's going to be extra luggage. I'm going to have to suck it, suck it up, and I apologize for moving the camera, but I forgot my tripod. Um, suck it up and just deal with the uh, extra luggage. It's pay a little extra. And try and figure out how to get everything on the train before I get to Frankfurt. Wish me luck. But in the meantime, I'll show you some stuff that I bought. I'm going to... Show you the table, even though some of the stuff in the back is my stuff. Now these plates. Oh, I love my Royal Copenhagen. I got a smashing deal on these plates. So if I want to sell them, I know I can make money off of them. But at this point, I probably save them for my own collection. I have a, a bunch of these already that I'm afraid to use because I will chip them. I already chipped one of the little ones that I had. And they are so valuable. I don't know why they're so pricey. Because they were mass produced back in the 60s. But I guess, well, they don't have them around anymore. Then there is this totally cool mid-century modern ashtray. Even though it's an ashtray, I would probably use it for something else. For little nuts, cashews or something. And it's a good German brand made in Germany so I don't know how old it is back in the 60s it would have said made in West Germany or made in the GDR but it does not look like it's new but um, I haven't googled it yet I haven't had time I just picked it up yesterday then there's another BNG little plate I like those little plates I use them a lot that's a real nice one. And look at the kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Here's the kitty. She is beautiful. I love her. She's kind of heavy though. And she looks like she could use some cleaning. I don't know if she was made with a little yellow tint in the back or if it was just wear and, or light or something. But I just love her shape. Yeah. I almost picked up a real nice elephant, but that guy wanted too much money in the end, and I already had so much heavy stuff. Poiple. Poiple, poiple. 
Ain't that cool? With these, that design. I couldn't resist that one. That's something different. And of course, the uh, good old Czech Republic, which means it's a newer one, but it's a nice one. And it's a beautiful blue. And it's not super, super big. What would it be like? Five inches, maybe. And the little bud vase. Now that is a def. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to show my mess here. Right now my room looks like a bomb exploded because I just got everything thrown on the bed, bed trying to figure everything out, starting to pack up some stuff. But I love that dark red and it's a beautiful bud vase. Definite Murano vibe. I could, I would, I would consider this Murano, but I, of course I don't know for sure. Maybe, maybe not. And then there are these two. Of course, my favorite, the Poiple. Poiple, Poiple. I couldn't resist these either. I was done shopping and then I saw these and, um, yeah. Then I decided I was not quite done shopping yet. And here's the other one. More of a brownish amber color. Those are beautiful. And of course, this plate. I don't know what, what brought me to buy this plate. I love it. I just fell in love with this plate. So I probably save that. I use that myself. Excuse the pop. <laughs> and then I got the beer plaques, which I just have to have those for my personal collection. My favorite beers. Holstein Berliner Kinder. <laughs> but that was it. That was all that I bought yesterday. I really thought I bought more. But... It's plenty, plenty of stuff to ship among, uh, yeah, you saw the other video most likely. I got more to ship. I'm trying to figure out how to pack this all to get it, get it home safe and sound. At least there's only one plane ride, but I do have to take the train from Berlin to Frankfurt and then I gotta take the shuttle to the hotel where I'm staying Wednesday night because it's so much easier. I found the best way to travel and let's see. Hi! Best way to travel! Best way to travel! Not change planes two or three times but get on one plane in Phoenix and get off that same plane in Frankfurt. The way down here I flew the uh, it was the night flight and I was exhausted enough I actually was able to sleep on the plane. I have not been able to sleep on the plane in a long time. But yeah, I was able to sleep on the plane and uh, then I got, when I got in, we got in late anyway. So it was, I was glad I didn't have a connection to catch because I would have missed that. I took the shuttle to the hotel and by the time I got to the hotel, I was exhausted and I went to sleep and I slept, had a good night's sleep. I got up the next morning, had a very good breakfast. That hotel had the best breakfast and that's why I'm staying there again on Wednesday. So I got another good breakfast on Thursday. And then I went, went back to the, took the shuttle back to the airport and got on a train all the way through to Berlin. I was able to catch a direct train. This time I have to change because the direct trains were either sold out or they weren't running. I don't know. I'm sure they have direct trains. They were probably just sold out. So that was the best way to travel. Usually I go from Phoenix to Chicago or Denver or wherever and change there and then fly to Frankfurt or Munich and change there and fly all the way into BER. But it's easier with the train. Trains are, fine, are cheaper and they have this totally cool thing called the nine euro ticket. So for nine euros, which is what, 10, 12 dollars, you can ride any local train and any um, slow train not the special super fast trains but the uh, the local trains and the slow trains um, and any public transportation in any city in Germany for a whole month. I saved a lot of money on that end. That was fun. My trip to Lübeck and back to Hamburg cost me nothing. It was all included in the nine euros. Every time I get on a bus and on a, on a subway here in Berlin I don't have to buy another ticket. It's all included. 
Normally, you pay nine euros for four rides, which is basically two days. So if I'm here for a month, then I have to spend another two. No, I have to spend like twenty to thirty bucks a week on on public transportation. <laughs> That's a whole different story. So yeah, I had fun. That was nice. That was a great idea. But they're probably not gonna do it again. They were already. The trains were so overloaded with people because everybody decided to do that. Everybody decided to ride the trains, especially on weekends. And the regular commuters were all complaining because they had no room in the trains. And of course, if you travel with a luggage or with a bike, and a lot of people travel with bikes and luggage, yeah, it gets tight. But yeah, it was fun. So today we're going to go and see cats again. Not like I haven't seen it some 50 whatever times. My cousin only saw it once before, and my cousin's granddaughter never saw it. So we're all going together. We're going to have a good time. And I got a couple more days here, and then I'm going to start traveling again. And so before I know it, I'll be back home in Arizona. But yeah, wish me luck with all my, my suitcases and stuff. If you're interested in any of these items, send me an email. Tigers.timeless.treasures at gmail.com you can, um, I could still ship something out tomorrow or, or, or Tuesday if you're interested in purchasing any of these items. Then I don't have to lug them back to the States and shipping from Germany to the States is not that bad because the USPS is really expensive. <laughs> the German mail is generally cheaper. But yeah, this is again another short one, but hey, this is it. I gotta get dressed and get take a shower and maybe vice versa. But... Y'all know the deal. Y'all keep it real. Kaboom.